This is something we need to know. Ten warning signs that you're dealing with an evil person. Evil comes in many forms, and it's often hard to recognize at first glance. And after, and after all, not all evil people are labeled evil queen or wicked stepmother. Here are the twelve warning signs of evil, and you can stop them. If you can stop them, you know to get the hell out of there. You have to protect yourself. Number one, denying reality. What's real and what is not isn't something that an evil or abusive person will agree with you on. To them, this is not something that's up for debate. No matter how many facts you have to prove them wrong, you're always the one in the wrong. Nothing can break their twisted deals. Number two, twisting facts. An evil or abusive person will twist facts to make themselves smarter and better than you. In fact, in effect, if a fact does not prove their point or agree with what they're saying, they'll twist it into something else. This means their own theories and stories are often backed up by outrageous facts and outrageous lies. Number three, withholding information. When faced with something that could change your view of them, they'll either twist it or withhold it. That way, they're not at risk of losing you. They'll never admit to a lie. They'll also keep any information a secret and use their ignorance to their advantage. Number four, misleading. They come across some information that they feel they could use. They'll always use it to mislead you, to make you feel afraid, alone, and very very vulnerable. That way they'll be your only comfort, making you depend on them. Whether it's the truth or not, in the end, you will start to believe. By doing this, they can create enemies in your head, making you feel like everything you're doing up to this point is wrong. Uh, obviously, what we're somehow describing here are psychopaths, uh, narcissistic psychopaths. Number five, constant lying. They create lies to protect the way you think of them, but to also keep control of you. They can't tell a story without adding a juicy white lie. Sometimes they'll admit to lying, but explain to you why they lied, while lying again so you feel sorry for them. Number six, feel no remorse. They have no remorse for anyone they have hurt, or even the people they're planning on hurting. To them, those people are just pawns, and they feed off the good energy people have and suck all the joy they can out of them. In other words, they are also, in this way, sucking out your spirit energy. They're like spirit vampires. There is such a thing as spirit vampires. Number seven, avoiding responsibility. Evil people don't take any responsibility for the people they've harmed or the wrongs they've committed. The minute they start to set some sort of blame, they redirect it before it makes its way to them. Number eight, manipulative. They are champions of manipulation. They are always ten steps ahead of everyone, and they know the direct how to direct everyone's attention onto something else. They know exactly how to make you feel stupid and worthless. Number nine, they steal your time. You may not notice this at first, but you should start keeping track of your conversations with them when you have a time limit. If they're somewhere you need to be, they'll try and distract you so you lose track of time. If they're doing this, then try to disrupt them. Number 10, double lives. They live double lives. Why? Because their entire life is covered in lies. They have a different picture painted of themselves for different people. As soon as they start to slip or lose control, then people start to notice. That's why they're constantly lying, so they can create an image that will stick. And uh, we're sure you can add a lot more to this, but if you have people like this around you, you don't need them. They're just a detriment, and they suck your, your life spirit. You're, they're because of the fact that they're narcissistic psychopaths, there's no cure for that. Uh, they believe that uh, they're the king or the queen of the world, and everybody else is their slave.
And uh, of course, as we said before, it's spirit vampirism. <laughs>